Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, for those of you that this is like the first video that you're clicking on, my name is Megan. Um, I am a very small YouTuber here and I am a wife, I'm a mother, and I am also pregnant with our second little boy. But um, I wanted to give you guys some ideas on how you can teach your children the true meaning of Christmas because I've noticed even myself like as when I was growing up and even now you know life gets so full of everything that's going on and you kind of forget like when you're out trying to get all these gifts and everything for everybody and you want everything to be not too cheap and not too expensive and none of that should truly matter um because that's not what Christmas is about. Um, to me, Christmas is about joy, love. It's the birth of Jesus. Um, God's love, the love that we have for one another, helping one another. That is what Christmas should be about. Making sure that you're happy and that you know everybody around you is happy. If you see somebody that needs help, you help them. And... You know, children learn by action and behavior. The way they see you acting and the way they see you behaving towards others is how they're going to act towards others and behave with others. And I think that's something that we lose grip on, kind of. Um, or maybe don't realize as much, but... Children learn from us. Like, we are the biggest teacher of our children and who we have around us and who we have around them. They see things and do those things. So, if you want your children to act, you know, to be a certain way and to, you know, be good towards people and respect people and help the elderly and stuff like that, you need to do that as well going to give you guys some ways on how to teach your children the true meaning of Christmas besides just gifts and what you can do for them or the other way around. So if you are religious, which I would think, I don't know. Anyways, if you are religious, you can read like scripture every night before bed like if you read your kids a book before bed if you read your kids a book before bed you can change that I mean you can still read like a little book you know do whatever you want but also read a scripture each night all the way up until the birth of Jesus Christmas teach your child about God's love Teach them, you know, get scriptures from the Bible and teach them about how God loves you and how no matter what you do, God is always going to be there for you. And if you guys have a nativity scene, remember how I was saying kids learn from action and behavior, you know, they, you can get a nativity scene and teach them about the wise men and Mary and Joseph and, you know, little baby Jesus. Teach them all that stuff. And I remember when I was a kid, I had a picture, thick picture Bible. And every year in, during Christmas, we had our own tree in our room and we had a nativity scene on our dresser. And, you know, my brother's grandma she was really big into God and she Christmas was her favorite time of year like she could not wait to decorate the tree and talk about God's love and the birth of Jesus and get you know we always had our Bibles out every night before bed we had to read some scripture out of our Bible before we went to bed sorry I'm getting out of breath again I am almost 17 weeks pregnant yeah, your bubby's kicking mommy's butt, huh? Yeah, I'm just making mommy out of breath. Yeah. Um, 
if you want to get your children involved in things, like, one thing I would never allow is for my children to dis disrespect somebody that is old, anybody. It doesn't matter if you're older, younger, it does not matter. Disrespect does not go good at all. It's not nice, it's not, it's just not good. So if you see somebody like an older, older person so if you see like an older person trying to you know get into like a store or something like that like they can open the door for them hold the door for them you know show them and you do these things too because like I said children learn by action and behavior I feel like I'm teaching a class right now. What do you think? Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> um, this is our one-year-old Lincoln if you are new here or this is like the first video of mine that you've seen my hair is a mess right now it's very windy where we are and it's raining and everything else but another thing that you can do is I'm sure there's plenty of churches around where you guys are from or in the town that you are in I'm sure they do like you know every Sunday they do like a breakfast from this time to this time and always need volunteers you can always get like your kids into sorry we keep going out of frame I'm trying to make sure he doesn't grab anything off the table but um, always make sh like have your kids volunteer to help but what I want to do is teach them early so they already have that like it's not something that I will feel that I'm forcing them to do they will be wanting to do it on their own um, cuz I don't know I just feel like if you're not gonna do it out of the kindness of your heart I don't know how to say this like I think it's better to do that out of like the kindness of your heart Be do it because you want to do it because that makes you happy to see other people happy um, also like helping homeless people there's been countless of times that you know we've seen homeless people you know outside of gas stations or something like that and we'll offer to get them something to eat or get them something to drink and give them some money I mean that's you don't have to give them money no but do something to maybe they're having a bad day maybe your neighbors having a bad day maybe your neighbors like on a budget and can't have a Thanksgiving dinner you know ask them if they want to come over you may not know that you may not know that they're having financial problems but always offer a hand to help somebody um, toy donations which is a good thing for us because you know toys get accumulated pretty quickly um, it's like what I did with Lincoln me and him went through his toys for his birthday like after his birthday you know I showed him all the nice toys new toys that he had and we went through his old toys and we donated a lot of toys to you know churches and stuff like that because you know, we don't want all them extra toys around, and he don't, some of them he wasn't even playing with. Most of the ones that we donated, he didn't even play with. So, to stop, which is like a win-win for us, you know, you don't have that many more toys accumulated, and you're also helping somebody else. Huh. See, I helped. See, I helped. Yes, I did. Yeah. You just want the camera, huh? Yeah. Oh. Also, like, 
I know that we want to get our kids gifts for Christmas, but you also want to have them, like, throughout the year. It doesn't even have to be near Christmas or by Christmas time. Have them do chores around the house to make money and show them how to spend that money wisely and, you know, have them do... Are you trying to do the deed? Uh... Are you doing the deed? Yeah. Yeah. And have them, you know, get somebody. <laughs> and they don't even necessarily have to get somebody something. Just help people. Help people. If the world was more like that, we wouldn't be having killings and murderers and people that shoot people's houses up and buildings and churches and bars and all that happening. And you know, it's sad that all this stuff is happening even this day and age, especially around the holidays. You know, that's somebody's family that you're taking. And I, I don't know if you guys heard, but I'm talking about the Mansfield murders that just happened with the couple and the pregnant woman. You know, I feel so bad for that family because you took two people and a pregnant woman that was getting ready to have a little boy. Like, you took their lives over a gun? I just don't understand people's concept and way they think. But, um, if any of you guys have any more, like, ideas on things that people can do for Christmas, leave them down in the comment section. And please make sure you guys are being very polite and nice to one another down there. Um... I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that the lighting wasn't the best. And then I have this bright light back here. And... There. No. <laughs> I'm trying. But I was trying to get this filmed pretty quickly. I'm trying to do dishes. And I gotta go back to work tomorrow. I do have to work on Thanksgiving, which really kind of yeah. sucks. But it is what it is. And I'm doing laundry, taking care of this little man who's been been, who's just been being very, very fussy, huh? See, I just want held all the time, that's all. Yeah, so I started walking, <coughs> yeah. No. See, here's my foot. <laughs> He's a mom, quit it. All right, guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that I have a little guy here that wants to take the camera from us and all that but I hope that you guys have a wonderful Christmas and if you have not subscribed yet and want to please do so also I love all you all of you guys enjoy all of your love and support and we love you bye